आपका बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक यू थैंक यू श्री एन के प्रेमचंद रथ जी थैंक यू थैंक यू मिस्टर चेयरमैन सर फॉर अफोर्डिंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू टेक पार्ट इन द डिस्कशन एक्सप्रेसिंग मोशन ऑफ थैंक्स टू द प्रेसिडेंशियल एड्रेस सर बाय वर्च्यू ऑफ आर्टिकल एटी सेवन ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया इट इज द रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ अर एक्सलेंसी द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया टू एड्रेस द ज्वाइंट सेशन ऑफ द पार्लियामेंट every year calendar year before the first session of the parliament and the very purpose of this presidential address to the joint session of the house before the session begins is to state about the performance of the government during the last years and also to state about the programs and policies of the government in the ensuing year but it is deeply disappointing to note that the presidential speech which is having 39 paragraphs is fully the achievements of the 10 years of nda government and nothing else other than the 10 years of achievement and it is absolutely a political statement of the government regarding their achievements that too for the coming parliament elections it is a political speech made by her excellency the president of india so it is deeply disappointing as far as we are concerned sir i have gone through the entire speech 39 paragraphs of the speech it is very very comprehensive but detailing almost all sections of the society but you may kindly see scheduled caste scheduled tribe obcs and also economically weaker sections of the society every people have been addressed in the presidential address but it is quite unfortunate to note that disappointing to note that not even a single word about the minorities in the country not even a mention in the presidential speech regarding the affairs or regarding the things which the nda government has done for the last 10 years as far as this minorities are concerned sir your slogan always bjp is taking the slogan sabka saath sabka vikas sabka vishwas sabka prayas what about the minorities you are talking about the inclusive development where is the development of the minorities and the affairs of the minorities it is quite unfortunate not even a word mentioned in the presidential speech 10 years of achievement not even a single word or a single sentence in the presidential speech regarding the minorities sir the second point is regarding the labor another area by which the total omission of the world and as far as the state of affairs of the labor sir it is also a deliberate omission why because it is a it is a deliberate omission means they have done nothing for the labor working class in the country for the last 10 years sir if you go through if we go through the last 10 years of the government the presidential address speaks about here also farmers industrialists youth and students entrepreneurs and even the street vendors there is address is there what about the labor sir i think that i i i, I would like to place it on record 10 years of bjp nda led government He is totally against the labor working class of this country. Not even make a mention of the labor class in the country means they are the part and parcel of the society. Not only part and parcel, they are the inevitable portion in the economic development of the country and in the nation building process. They are playing a very good role and also wealth creators. Presidential speech is very very vocal about the wealth creation. But what about the role of the labor? Nothing is being mentioned. And also, sir, if you critically examine. if you critically examine always you are praising about the ease of doing business how this ease of doing business all these 10 years have happened this ease of doing business is at the cost of the labor because the rights enjoyed or the benefits enjoyed by the labor is taken away at the expense of the labor the ease of business so for one example is employees pension scheme 1995 immediately after the bjp government came to power on 19 2014 yes circular has been issued by which 95 lakhs of employees eb of pensioners the rights have been taken away sir now you see the entitlement of pf pension who are having the salary above 15000 they are out of the pensionary benefit the retirement group is to 2000 rupees nothing is done so sir the poor old age the pensioners of 95 95 lakhs of pensioners their their benefits have been curtailed during the last 10 years and also regarding the esi benefit sir esi benefit also most of the workers now it is beyond the purview of the esi medical benefit scheme why because the ceiling limit is 21000 of rupees most of the workers are above the ceiling limit the government has so many times the labor minister has assured in this house that will be 
considered. So far, nothing is done as far as the ESI is concerned. So, sir, my point is that these two sections of the society, minorities as well as labor, they are totally ignored and nothing is, sir, sir, please, please, nothing is mentioned in the presidential speech. It is quite unfortunate. Sir, politically speaking, because it is a presidential speech, we want to say that always now we are going to 2024 elections. Sir, now wherever you go, you can see the more these guarantees. Sir, I would like to know from the government what were the guarantees and the promises made during the 2014 election and also 2019 election. So we'll bring back the money which is stacked in foreign countries, the black money is stacked in foreign countries, and every household will be given 15 lakh rupees in the account. Where is it? Sir, there was a true growth of employment every year. Where is it? Sir, an exponential growth of un unemployment rate is in the country. Sir, petrol, diesel price will be brought back to rupees 50 rupees per liter, and cooking gas price will be brought down to 300. Please, please, 320. Sir, one, let me conclude this point. And sir, farmers' income will be doubled by 2020 to and the housing for all, drinking water all for these are all promises, nothing in practice. So my point, my point is, sir, and also, sir, one, one minute I will conclude, also the secular democratic fabric of the country is under big threat. Sir, my point is, if you want to restore the constitutional values and the protect the constitution, the government has to change in the next coming election. And we have to, uh, we appeal to the people of India to vote for the before the Indian development Thank and you inclusive very much. alliance so Thank as you. to protect the constitutional values and to safeguard the constitution. Thank you. Sripi Ravindranath Ji. Thank you, Chairperson, sir.